Hi, Boutique. What book have you got for us this week? This looks like a great book, Boutique. This week's book is called Willie Wins, written by Almira Astudillo Guillez, illustrated by Carl Angel. Let's get started. I can't believe you struck out in the last inning, Stan snarled at Willie. Willie felt his face burning as he bent to pick up his baseball glove. He turned away and trudged over to Dad. Here comes my favorite baseball player, Dad said, rustling Willie's hair. You know, we didn't have Little League when I was a boy. My friends and I played on the street with bamboo bats and a rolled up sock. Willie sighed. He didn't want to hear any of Dad's stories from the Philippines. He just couldn't get Stan out of his mind. Back home, Willie dragged himself to his room and started to empty his backpack. When he saw the note from his teacher, his eyes widened. Oh no, Willie cried. He ran to the kitchen where dad was cooking dinner. Dad, I need a bank and I need it tomorrow, Willie exclaimed. Mrs. O'Malley is teaching us about saving money. We get play money when we do extra work and whoever has the most by the end of the month wins tickets to the circus. Dad rubbed his chin, thinking. Then he smiled. I've got just the thing, he said. I was saving it for your birthday, but now seems like the perfect time. Willie followed Dad to the basement and watched him dig out a rusty metal box. Open it, Dad said, his eyes twinkling. Inside, Willie found a wooden ball with a slit as long as the palm of his hand. What is it? Willie asked. It's an alcancia, Dad said proudly. It used to be the shell of a coconut. Now it's a bank. Willie frowned. But Dad, I just need a regular bank, like a pig or a car. He turned the coconut bank over and noticed a tiny hole. What's this for? That's for the ants, Dad explained. They crawl in, and after they've eaten all the coconut meat, they crawl out. Then the shell is scrubbed and polished. Willie liked the idea of ants marching through the hole, gobbling up the meat, and then marching out again. But he still wasn't sure about the bank. You have to crack this open to get the money out, Willie said. After that, you can't use it anymore. Ah, said Dad, that's why it's such a great bank. It's sneak proof. Plus, there's something special inside this alcancia, Dad added more seriously. When I was your age, my uncle gave me a present when he visited from San Francisco. It was the only thing I ever got from the States, so I guarded it like a treasure. Years later, when I moved here, I put the treasure in my alcancia. I wanted to save it for my own child. He patted Willie on the back. I guess that's you. Willie shook the bank. He thought he heard a soft rustle. What is it? He asked. Dad winked. You'll know in a month. Willie sighed. It was such a strange looking bank. But what if Dad was right? and there was something special inside. The next day, Willie watched as his classmates pulled out their banks. Three kids had piggy banks, Sally had a silver train, and Alonso had a gumball machine with real candy. My bank sure is different, Willie thought as he slowly lifted the alcancia out of the box. What's that? The words felt like a missile zooming right at Willie. Suddenly, Stan was beside him. You're supposed to bring a bank, not a rock, he jeered. Willie felt like sinking into his shoes. But then he remembered how proud Dad looked when he gave him the bank. This is an alcancia, a coconut bank, Willie said, 
trying to sound more confident than he felt. It's from the Philippines, where my dad grew up. It's just a dusty shell, Stan said. It is not, Willie replied. It's special because there's something inside from when my dad was a kid. So it's an old dusty shell, Stan said. Then he turned to show off his bank to some other kids. Willie looked down, blinking hard. Then he felt a hand on his shoulder. Just ignore Stan, said Matt. Willie's best friend. He's still mad because he thinks you made the team lose yesterday. Matt looked curiously at Willie's bank. I've never seen anything like this, he said. What do you think's inside? It must be something really special. Willie nodded slowly, only half believing. Stan turned back to Willie and pointed at the Alcantia. That's a loser's bank he taunted. It's ugly, and I'll bet it's empty, too. That did it. Willie stepped up to Stan. My dad is no liar. If he says there's something special inside, then there must be something special. We'll see, Stan snickered. Willie stood up tall and made himself a promise. By the end of the month, his bank would be full of money and the treasure. For the next four weeks, Willie worked so hard that he barely had time to play with Matt after school. One evening, Dad came into Willie's room for a game of catch. Need a break, son? he asked. Willie shook his head. Not now, Dad. I'm too busy. Some other time, then, Dad answered. Don't worry. With all the work you're doing, I'm sure you'll do great. Stan was working hard, too, and he picked on Willie almost every day. Willie tried to be as tough as his coconut bank, but he was still worried. What if Stan was making more money? And what if Dad's treasure wasn't really a treasure, but something only Dad thought was special, like the wooden water buffalo he kept on his desk? Finally, the end of the month arrived. It's time to unlock your banks. Mrs. O'Malley announced. Click, click, click. Keys were inserted into locks. Lids flipped open and play money dumped on desks. There were whoops and shrieks of excitement. Willie sat through it all, his heart thumping. The small hammer Dad had given him felt so heavy. Mrs. O'Malley walked over to Willie. Go ahead, she urged him gently. Willie took a deep breath. Then he whacked the bank with one sure stroke like Dad had told him. Play money whirled all over his desk and onto the floor. No one made a sound. Then Mrs. O'Malley looked at her notebook. You all worked really hard, she said to the class. But according to my official tally, Willie is the winner. Stan stood with his arms crossed. Well, where's the treasure? He demanded. Willie looked among the jagged pieces of the broken bank. He sifted through the money on his desk. Nothing. A lump formed in his throat. Willie had no idea what he was looking for. Then he spied a flash of color beside his foot. He bent down and picked up a small card. It had a picture of a brown-skinned man wearing a baseball cap. Giants, Willie read from the top of the card. Stan crouched down beside Willie. Hey, it's a baseball card, Stan exclaimed. As Willie stood up, his classmates crowded around him. A San Francisco Giants card, Matt shouted. It's Willie Mays, and it's from 1964. Wow, said Stan. He's one of the greatest baseball players ever. He's in the Hall of Fame. A card that old is probably worth a hundred dollars. Willie looked down at the card in his hand. Dad had come through after all, and he knew Dad would be waiting proudly when his two favorite baseball players came home after school. Willie 
he said, grinning from ear to ear. That's me! The end. As always, thanks for watching and see you next week. I hope everybody had a good Easter Sunday.